very cool show that you will have the chance to see at a very cool place, the Madam Walker Legacy Center, this coming Friday. And it's music from a musical that I think has been around a few years, but it might be going to Broadway soon. And it's one that tells a, a very interesting story, particularly during Black History Month. It's part of Discovering Broadway. Joel Kirk is the uh, executive director of Discovering Broadway here in Indy, and one of the singers at that show is one you may have seen before on The Voice, David Owens. Welcome, gentlemen. How are you? Good. How are you? I'm doing well. First of all, what's Discovering Broadway? Tell me about that first. Yeah, so Discovering Broadway is a new nonprofit mm -hmm. based in central Indiana that hosts Broadway bound shows. So before a show goes to Broadway, it needs to be revised, written, and so we host the authors, the director, the choreographer. We put them up at the Hotel Carmichael or Bottle Works and we underwrite their housing, their food, their travel, and they get to work and focus on their show, making it good. Then at the end of that process, which is what February 10th at the Madam Walker is, we bring out Broadway top talent, and they collaborate with the top talent here locally. So Grammy and Tony winner Jesse Mueller, Josh Coffin from The Voice, David, Morgan Wood, who's from here, who's now Eliza in the Hamilton Broadway tour, they're mm -hmm. all gonna bring to life Five Points, the score, and premiere it for a Hoosier audience. And Five Points is the story of uh, a very famous dance hall yes. in New York City yes. that incredibly in the 1860s, I believe yes. is when this came about, yeah. was integrated. That's right. This was all happening during the tumult of the Civil War, and it really focuses on two communities, the Irish immigrants, which Americans didn't really want over here, and newly emancipated slaves coming from the South, which the North actually didn't want either. So you have two groups that were completely ostracized, that built community together. It was imperfect, it was full of conflict, but out of it came this incredible art. And that's really what the show is about. It's about the healing amidst a very divided country. That dance hall, it was the uh, Almack Dance Hall, I that's believe. Right. Uh, that's really the cradle of tap dancing, that's as we right. know it. That's right, this musical really focuses on the birth of American tap dance, yeah. which again is taking those two cultures, their individual creativity and art, and merging them together. Yeah, and so you can see this show again this coming Friday, Madam Walker Legacy Center. David, what's it like being part of this show? It's really exciting. I mean, I, as a local boy, I grew up here in Indianapolis. Joel and I grew up together. We, we love, we want to give an opportunity to highlight the talent that's here and create an opportunity to bring some of you know the things that are happening in New York here and create that avenue. So as somebody who loves the arts here and, and just loves the arts in general, it's really exciting to be able to collaborate with other artists and just see their talent flourish and, and really see something cool happen for the city. Now, if you have not seen or heard David perform, you're in for a treat. Uh, <laughs> you, for some reason, he didn't uh, win out on The Voice. I don't understand that competition. It's an NBC thing anyway, it doesn't count. <laughs> but uh, you're really in for a treat. What specifically, you are you getting to perform at this show? Yeah, so I'm going to be playing a character called Cornelius, who is the best friend of the main character in the show. And um, it is a little bit different. It's, it's a really cool peek behind the scenes of something like this because it's it's a concert. So we're going to be standing and performing it. There won't be choreography and mm -hmm. things like that. But um, I'm really looking forward. I've already been diving into this character. My son loves singing it with me in the morning when I'm practicing it. Um, but it's just a cool opportunity to, to sing with other artists and and get to see you know this music come to life before it's it's hitting the biggest stage that it will be on here in the future hopefully when it makes it to Broadway so um, it's, it's an exciting exciting thing to be part of. Now what are Five Points prospects right now for making it to Broadway? What is that process like? It's a great question. So right before we programmed the show a very prominent regional theater Paper Mill Playhouse where shows like Disney's um, Newsies was first yeah. launched there. Great show. Um, lots and lots of Broadway shows go there and of course it's in New Jersey so it's just right there they optioned the show so after us paper mill will continue its development which is really exciting when we as a network organization can partner with these theaters and think through what is the next best thing for the show for the writers and for the success of the show on Broadway now as a performer David what do you think of the prospects of you perhaps getting into that cast once <laughs> once once the blast, yeah, once, the, once this continues moving on oh i don't know i mean i i really didn't come into this uh with expectations like that uh, yeah you know we'll i guess cross that bridge when we get there sure um but yeah i think it's it's you never know what happens as a performer you really just look for opportunities to again collaborate at least for me um you know i've been behind the scenes of music for a long time i'm, I'm very much so comfortable kind of propping other people up to to do their best work but i do forget at times that I am a performer and I am a singer and so opportunities like this remind me of that so we've joked around about that before obviously <laughs> but um, really just focusing on, on this performance and 
and, uh, and, and working with this music. It's an incredible story. It's, it's incredible music. It's very, it's hard even when you sing it to not, you know, think about the circumstance that a lot of this is written around and, and the emotion behind it. So I think the audience will really connect with it. And I think um, it'll resonate with a lot of people, especially being at the Madam C.J. Walker Theater. You know, I'm from Indianapolis. I grew up just on 21st in Delaware. And so I'm very aware of the theater and the history and, and I love, you know, seeing it being promoted as well through this process. So very excited about that. And whatever comes in the future, we'll, we'll cross that bridge when we get there. <laughs> All right. What a great concert this is going to be. February 10th, this coming Friday at the Madam Walker Legacy Center. We'll have info at WRTV.com. Five points musical you might see on Broadway sometime, but hear the music first this coming Friday right here in Indianapolis. Joel Kirk, David Owens, really appreciate your time. Thanks. Thank, Thank you. you.